All right. Christmas! Christmas! We'll get a little bit more into that rowdy edit in a, in a bit. First of all, Mesmer dropped the teaser for NYC Volume 1 yesterday and it looks wild. All the crew are involved, you get a clear shot of the white skates and it looks like everyone was on their tear. I'm absolutely pumped for this one. The video drops at some point today. Have you seen this USD Sway review Loco Skates did that's uh, accidentally comical? It starts out all smooth, slick, professional with some really lovely editing in it. But then around the one minute mark, the jump cuts come in. Like Jake keeps changing location, his outfits keep changing. It's definitely not meant to be funny, but it really made me laugh. Jürgen said it reminded him of a skit from the fast show. <laughs> Holidays are brilliant, aren't they? The point of them is that you don't have to go to work if you got a job, that is. Garner felt like Jake was just trying to show off a little bit. The skate was secondary. It was all about just showing everybody his massive warehouse. Genuinely surprised he didn't do a shot from inside one of his Teslas. I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. The USD Sway comes with cough bolts. Oh, did I show you my uh, fleet of cars? The Sway also comes with pieces of string so you can tighten up the boot. All oh, that. Oh, that's just my mansion, don't worry about that. He should have done the last shot inside his vault with all of the money he's been raking in off rollerblading with his gold bars and his gold-plated halfpipe. I'm surprised there wasn't a shot in the Loco Skates bogs. Bit of an unexpected one, Rosie's with the creative direction of Goth Otter Cavern. They've designed what I believe is their best looking skate in ages. Dang, that looked good. Kevin explains that the Rosies and Plastic Pushers collaboration was inspired by his first skate, the Rosies Affin. That's the one that sent him on his path into the rollerblading world, so he felt like it was a, an appropriate nod. It's very clean and simple with yellow highlights and plastic pushers written on the uh, grip handle things. The story goes that Kevin was out in Naples filming he met up with Martina, went for a spot of dinner, had some world famous vegan lasagna, chatted a little bit about dogs. Do you like dogs? Dogs. What? Yeah, dogs. Dogs. Do you like dogs? Oh, dogs. And then Martina was like, oh, cheers for all the work you're doing in rollerblading and that. We'd like to do a collab with you. And then Kevin nearly blew the nail varnish off his fingers, like jumping at the chance. He was like, yeah, of course I want to do it. That sounds like a great idea. And uh, the reason why it's limited to 35 is because that's the area code from where he's from. Nice little touch. They've got some merch to complement the skate release as well, designed by Ralph Rezik, who's used the old Roaches logo. They should be using it way more often in their soft goods. Like, get a whole line going. I think it's really sick. Like, I'm sure I mentioned that before that they should use it. One thing I did mention before, and I'm going to mention it again in the hope that they maybe pay attention to me. I doubt it though. Uh, they should re release their trainers. The trainers were dead good, like, they're a shoe factory. Why aren't they making shoes, like? That's like, I don't know, being like world famous for making pools, but now all you make is diving boards. Make the pools again, mate. You'll be swimming in the money. Oi, oi. Seriously, though, make the shoes again. Like, if you agree with me, every time they post, put it in the comments. Make the shoes again. Make Royce's great again. Like, <laughs> those awful MAGA hats. I mean, because they're definitely not going to listen to me, are they? But if a load of other people say it, they might actually pay attention. Surely they'll sell better than these howlers. <laughs> anyway, all of that Rosie's Plastic Pushers stuff is in celebration of the release of Plastic Pushers 3, the sequel to Plastic Pushers 2. The theme of this one seems to be lanky skaters. It's got some of the tallest skaters going. First off, you've got Billy Merton, and who was the first kid in his school to be able to reach the top shelf. You've got some bits in there from Rob Dalton. Cheese is so tall that he's actually banned from Fort Park. He's like way too lanky for the ride. Like, imagine him on Nemesis with his hands up in the air, hanging out like. That's a, that's a health and safety hazard. And then you've got Chris Farmer. God knows how tall he is. He looks absolutely massive. Farmer's actually so tall, he's become a measurement for those big redwood trees. Like, they look him up and they go, woof, that one's about like three farmers, that one. The thing's a really sick watch. Like how he's got a section in there, like supporting the youth, trying to push them a little bit, get them a bit of exposure. It's an hour long, so like in between boisterous amounts of Christmas food, just whack that thing on and relax like. 
Rosies have also got a new edit coming soon called Portugalia. Really looking forward to it. If you weren't aware, it's awards season. So that means everyone is flying out and voting for themselves. I've decided I'm going to throw my hat in the ring and do some awards. There's a link in the description so you can like go and vote now. You've got like your more traditional like awards in there, say Sotty, uh, Section of the Year, Best Female Skater, all that kind of stuff. Then you've got less traditional awards like, I don't know, Skater Most Likely to Win a Royal Rumble, Skater Most Likely to Borrow Money Off You and Then Not Pay It Back, Villain of the Year, Ugliest Skate. These are a few of my favourite things. The nominations for each award have come from my Instagram and YouTube followers. I've done a little bit of quality control on there. There's a few other people I've added in, like a few sections and stuff like that. There's also some other awards I've added into the voting system. And then there's going to be even more awards in the actual video itself. So yeah, I'll do a video announcing the People's Champion. And then also we're going to have winners selected by a panel of judges. Looking to get the video out in the first week of Jan, so until then, get voting. Demetrius George was obviously stoked after watching Christmas classic Die Hard and went full yippee ki -yay at this rail. yippee ki -yay, mother... Shout out to Nick Lomax, who's got a new second skin pro liner. The thing looks like a Fiat Multipla car with one of those face huggers attached to the back. They do look very comfy. They're bound to be top quality. You're going to be sticking them inside a boot anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter that they look like one of the top 10 ugliest cars ever. It doesn't look boring to me, thought Bron, and off he went to have a look. Why limit pro products to just like skates, liners, frames, wheels and bearings? Like, don't stop there, like go further, go pro laces, pro cuff bolts, pro like shock absorbers. Chris Farmer, signature hat and bolo tie. Nick Lomax, a guy to move into Barcelona but refusing to learn Spanish. <laughs> Mikhail Vitzerman, baseball cap with like a little bit of hair sewn into it so he makes all the fringes always poking out at the bottom like wigs, signature wigs of like your favourite pros, hairstyles, I mean you could have like Robbie Pitt's long ginger mane, you could have like a baldy head for uh, Derek Henderson as well, <laughs> that'd be sick. Henderson's goatee while we're at it as well. I mentioned a couple of the USD lot there and a few of them went on a European mini tour and the edit has just come out. It features the likes of Eugen, Nick Lomax, Chris Farmer, Sam Crofts, Carlos Bernal, Mary Munez, Abby and Michael Witzeman. The music in it is dreadful. It's absolutely awful. I'd rather listen to like gravel being bounced off a plastic tennis racket but the skating's good and that's like the main part it's great having a team video seeing them session the same sport seeing the different approaches they take the variety of styles and skills on offer there's a bit in the video where sam does this like skate run thing down a ledge which was uh, inspired by Neerman, and it is so risky it's the kind of trick that like i actually don't think he'll get the credit for how dicey that was. It's also the kind of trick that I think like, even though he's done loads of dangerous things in his time, that if his parents seen him doing that, they'd be like, oh my goodness, Sam, like, really? Come on, come on man, calm it down. Like, the rails, the ledges is fine. But running down the thing, like, oh my goodness. It looked like everyone was on good form. Also good to see like the skaters outside of what might be their like normal uh, environment and seeing how they get on with that. Hopefully the tour videos become more of a frequent thing. Them skates seem to be dropping edits on a fairly regular basis at the moment. First you've had Marius Scale with pulses and some of the best curtains in the business, man. It looks like that centre part's been parted by Moses himself. Marius has just got it. Like, top-rate style, really good positioning on tricks. There's something kind of, like, nostalgic about the way he skates and performs his tricks, but also, like, brings a bit of a modern twist to it. I mean, that kind of sounds like I'm trying to sell furniture or something. What I'm actually trying to say is it's just a really sick edit, and he's a really sick skater, so... Get on over there and watch that. I've actually done a more in-depth reaction on my uh, Patreon, which you can join for three quid a month. Link in the description. The video's got my favourite Sweats Dance, Kind Grind, and Fishbone Fee 60 of the year. They've then followed that edit up with this. Someone gave Danny Malm a gallon of diesel for breakfast. What an animal. Imagine seeing him approaching the front steps of your house. Like, what is this lunatic planning? It's really rowdy, really exciting, but it's 
It's not just him going berserk either. There's actually some really nice tech bits in there, loads of creative skating. If I could make a comparison to anything, it's a bit like a fruit and nut trail mix. Like you've got some crunchy numbers in there, some chewy raisins, some fruity bits. So it's a decent mix, man. I really like this song in it, and I'm pretty sure it's been used before somewhere else though. Can't think where, so if you know where it's been used before, leave that in the comments. They dropped a video promoting their new grey collaboration liners with Intuition, and I feel like John's acting's improving a little bit. A liner. Hmm. Um, what about this? Is this a hiking boot? No, it's a liner. It features John, obviously, Danny, Mike Therese, Ben the Posture Magaziner, Leon Bassin, and Tommy Chung. The music was a clever choice as well, because the lyrics actually say Julio. My main thug villain named Julio, he moody yo. Them skates have also managed to find themselves as part of ID's ultimate nice gift guide. Nice. <laughs> now a really cool collaborative multimedia project that I want to talk about from Edo, Ira Butler Scar and lots of other people called Put Down The Hate and Skate. To put it simply and be blunt, the world is like a pretty mad place. Like this year's just been another example of that. Ongoing conflicts all over the world, the invasion of the Ukraine. It's a pretty scary and like hate filled place at times. So as a small but important counter to that, they've poured love and inspiration into a collaborative project with a message about focusing more on like humanity with a simple phrase, put down the hate and skate. The main piece is the perfect skate pant. These have been meticulously designed to withstand like the rough treatment trousers get when you go out skating, they're quick drying, they have replaceable pieces, they're made from upcyclables, surplus materials, and all made to order. They're absolutely ideal for the job and made with like the lowest negative effects. And also, they look really good. The collection also features a long sleeve and a hoodie. The visuals for this have been absolutely incredible, man. This is an amazing stop motion video. There's all sorts of action going on it. Can't imagine how long that must have taken to make. The drop is run on a pre-order basis, which is open now. It's going to be open until the 31st of December to so get your orders in while you can. Did you see how tough Frankie Morales was the other day? He was over the moon. <laughs> Let's go. Gods have recently announced the release of the Frankie Morales 4 and the Aton Recreational Skates. The FM4 is basically a reiteration of Frankie's carving. So if you were into that skate, like you'd be pretty buzzing with this one. Personally, it's like not really my kind of style. But I tell you what, I've seen a little clip of Picasso Ablo, like Port Pabs on Instagram, with his trousers over them, and they look pretty nice out. I know the trousers are like covering the skate. But that little bit that was sticking at the bottom does look quite nice like that. I think the Rex skates look really nice actually, and I think this is just what it's going to be now. Like brands that aren't doing it, it's probably just a little bit foolish, man. Like if there's an opportunity there for a brand to make a Rex skate, get into like a little bit of a different market, absolutely go for it. If it's going to be like helping fund and support this like this venture, keep doing it, man. There's another fake USD account floating about and trying to scam people. It's called Sam and Nick. They seem to be contacting people who have commented on the USD tour vid saying they've won skates, but then posting a pic of Alex Broskow's Rollerblade TRSs. Bit of a silly one. If you've completely frozen your grid off and you fancy watching something a little bit sunny, make sure you check out Dark Place's new bit, their little tour of Malaga. Vela's in there, George Wilson, Brad, Sparky, Bangers from Matt Reyes, and a load of their other mates. Brighten up your life. I hope you've enjoyed whatever you celebrate on the 25th, if you celebrate it at all. Like, I hope you just had a nice time, like caught up with the family, relaxed, ate some good food, that kind of thing. Like, Cheers for all the support this year. Things are going to change slightly, maybe, depending on a few things next year. A massive, massive thank you to all my Patreons. Like, without you, I simply couldn't do this. Results video coming soon. Here's a couple of other ones you can watch in the meantime. Spotty dog.